Hey, welcome back to another Black City Coffee vlog. In this video, I wanted to go over shipping bags of coffee. This is for Nick. My brain is breaking, trying to figure out if a bag sold as 12 ounce actually holds 12 ounces of whole bean coffee, or if you need to get a larger bag, can you give me the specs on your bag? Um, which I already gave to you, Nick, but I think I, I said that I would break it down a little bit more and just give you all the details and just pull back the curtain. Um, I love the bag you use and want to make sure I get the same size. Let me show you the bag I use. Bam. It's from here. PBFY flexible packaging. 12 ounce block bottom. Okay. It's a block bottom. Side gusseted. That just means this. Like it has this like how it opens and stuff. Um, matte black. And then you want to get it valved. One way valved. Uh, so that it can off gas your freshly roasted coffee. Okay, valve. So, so valve you'll put in. Yes. Okay. So yeah, they're 282 bucks per case. There's 500 in them in a case. And then um, you can also hot stamp these, which I, d I first did. Um, you get free shipping. Da -da -da -ba -da 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 -da. So this, this person is pretty close to us. They're in a, it's not, um, it's not environmentally friendly. <laughs> You see this PET here and all these other things here. Uh, that means it's basically made from oil uh, derivatives or things like that. So um, sorry about that. <laughs> but you can also get them in, um, in a craft bag like this. But be mindful. I think even if you did get the craft bag, the inside is lined with a material that is food safe. Uh, it's it's almost like a foil like material and so that you can heat seal this okay it needs to have the ability to be heat sealed that if that's the way you're gonna seal your bags okay uh, and I I inquired about you know should I be getting an eco-friendly bag and I asked this of Nathan who was my designer um, and he's like well it's all good and fun to be like eco-friendly and stuff and this is a total side note and tangent but it's just because it's here and this PET is staring me at the face and I just want to bring this up and I, I still think it was interesting I've never talked about it here so he was like <clears throat> you know it's all good and nice to to be eco-friendly and to care about the environment but it's like uh what are you really gonna do <laughs> so he just kind of was like you know, if you can't, if it's going to cost you more to be eco-friendly to where you don't even make a profit, like, and it's more to a detriment of yourself just to be eco-friendly, like, that's not smart, you know, and e eco-friendly boxes or eco, uh, whatever, uh, bags, um, are expensive. And I've done plenty of my own research and come to the conclusion that while I don't have the sources to cite you right here, Recycling costs more than it, <laughs> uh, to have these types of bags currently at this point in time is just costing more than it is actually saving. Um, and my little, my little, you know, operation over here, my little home business is really not going to make a dent in saving the world. You can just do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel good to go to sleep at night, but don't be worrying, don't be trying to put yourself in the hole to be eco-conscious and, and, and also not stress about it so much uh, because you can't afford all of these crazy prices to go eco-friendly. Okay, that's all I have to say. Not good or good or bad, just like that's, that's what was like, I was thinking about it. That's the answer that I got. And I was like, cool, I'm stressing too much. I'm gonna let it go. All right, so no judgment either which way, all right? <laughs> just something I thought was interesting I thought I would share with you guys okay so 282 and this is with no hot stamp or anything if you get a hot stamp um, through this company and you go with the cheapest hot stamp quality um, or option not quality but it's mo it's like um, you can choose I think any color but I chose white you know and you guys have seen that bag it was a white hot stamp and it's not gonna be as clean or as sharp especially if you have an intricate logo uh, because this the hot stamp can like kind of peel off. But anyway, that would cost you an extra uh, 250 to $300 to set up the, to create the die of your logo and then uh, actually hot stamp it, right? And 
just be forewarned that not every single bag is, bag is gonna be perfect if you decide to hot stamp, but it sure as hell saves you a bunch of time, right? And you can go as crazy or as simple as you want with that. Okay, so that's the bag. Um, oh, they have it right here. <sighs> okay, whatever, you can read this on your own, okay? So this is this is the website, PBFY Flexible Packaging. They have a bunch of other stuff on here. I found this to be the, the, the best uh, deal for me because I would get 500 of these guys. Um, and then funny enough, I didn't tell you guys this, this story too, but um, this label, right, that I put, black. Oh, suddenly I'm out of breath. <laughs> Takes so long. All right. So if we go to the website, this label, right? Um, see, so this is my bag, right? So I have actually underneath all of these, <laughs> underneath this is my old hot stamp logo. I didn't want to waste this bag because I'm not about to waste. I just put a sticker over it um, with a, like a really high quality sticker and then my semi high quality label. So underneath this label, I actually had hot stamped like the uh, 12 ounces, right? And then a roast date and something like that. I had to go through me and my parents. We sat down with these bags with gloves on and everything, masks. And we, we sat there with acetone and erased that hot stamp <laughs> so that we could put these new labels on. So that, that was, uh, that's the story behind this. So, you know, um, if you're committed to this bag, you know, just be, just make sure you're committed. You know what I mean? If you're going to hot stamp something. So the flexibility of just ordering them blank and then putting on your own label or whatever. There's, there's always like this, you know, do I... Do I make this permanent? Do I make this, keep this space to be flexible? Um, how much is that gonna cost? You know, all that stuff is kind of uh, worked in. And that's the work. That's the, that's the, what I always called like, uh, the yucky work. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so that's the bag. So now, Nick, you asked about, do I actually put 12 ounces of whole bean coffee in there? Yes. So when you guys buy a bag of coffee from me or from anyone, and it says 12 um, ounces net weight, right? Net meaning um, the product alone. That's why it's net weight. It's not total weight. So net meaning net the total, the, the actual product itself, which is like, or the actual food product itself, which is like inside here is 12 ounces of weighed out whole bean roasted coffee, okay? And then you're gonna have the weight of the bag and you just add that into your um, shipping client, basically. So the shipping client I use, I think is just, I guess it's through Shopify, right? Yeah, it's it's simply through Spotify, uh, Shopify. Yeah, I'm not even using this. So it's it's through, um, it's through sh uh, sh Shopify. Here's how I do, okay? So I have a 12 ounce coffee I set up um, I, I set up this custom shipping rate under a new profile and then um, if you've already set up all your products you'll just go in here and select all of your 12 ounce bags products and then you could you know really just adjust all these rates and whatever so um, and then you save okay and then the weight of the bag is actually in um, that's under packages. So if you go out back out to shipping and delivery and you go down, so you've already created your profile for your 12 ounce coffee. Um, and you, then you go down to packages. You can, you can add a package and do all your custom stuff. So a uh, soft package, this is my like black bag or a uh, white bag, soft bubble bag that I put your one bag of coffee or two sometimes in there and that's where you put in the weight of the bag and then through the magic of this <laughs> website you know how it works it's like through that it will calculate all that together um, use any of the the shipping profiles that you select here on your Shopify site and it will give a total shipping cost or whatever based upon weight for your customer. 
Now, you can always offer shipping for free. Like for right now, I now offer free shipping on all like uh, one bag, one 12 ounce bag of coffee now, um, which has really also helped people just keep trying my coffee, which is cool. Uh, because yeah, the shipping was, it was starting to be a lot more expensive and it used to be like four something when I first started two years ago, it became five something for one bag of coffee. USPS first class shipping under a pound had to be under a pound uh, and now it's six something because of inflation and whatnot right um, so for now I'm just like because I kind of don't care about profit anymore I just want to cover my costs I now just give free shipping uh, but it's that's something like people expect online for free shipping for like under especially under a pound um, or anything rather, you know, people are expecting free shipping because we're in that world of Amazon now. But yeah, you got to cover your costs. And that's a, that's a big reason why, like I keep my coffees, even though I'm not interested in profit as, as much, right. It's like, I just want to keep this price to cover all my costs and shipping costs. Whereas I was making that profit on like, in a way. Uh, the shipping where I could keep an extra whatever, you know, $4 or whatever. I'll break it all down next time. Um, but now this is really just to cover my costs when people just want to get one bag of coffee. And that, that helps me, you know. Um, plus the website in order to do all this stuff is like 30 some bucks. And now that shipping and inflation is, is here, the prices that I've calculated haven't moved in in reflection of that inflation and I feel like I may have to revisit that because my numbers now are not the same because inflation whatever but I don't know maybe I'm not really like motivated to do that right now okay <laughs> um, so yeah I used to have a huge like abandon rate checkout here see before it used to be 62% that's pretty high because uh, because of the shipping thing and yeah I get it you know uh, but yeah, so that's how we ship one bag of coffee to y'all. Um, and I'm putting 12 ounces of roasted coffee in that bag. And on the label, it says, you know, 12 ounces. We zoom in here. It says 12 ounces net weight. And then I'll have the roast date right here, whatever. Um, and that's it. Okay, so I hope that's clear, Nick. Thanks so much for all your nice, kind words and support. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.